I'm not sure if it's enough for me, but good luck with your purification. <laughs> and what's in here? Why are there books? Well, the well. You must be this Dova Keen everyone's so infatuated with. The Nords must have exaggerated your ferocity. You don't look like much to me. And let me teach you something about intimidation and power. The greeting is well, well, well. Two wells indicate that you're a powerless fool. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, I've decided to come back to our boat. Since we've been tasked by the warden to help his villagers in order to get passage off the island. Seems like a fair enough deal. But, uh, you... Yes? Is something on your mind? Forgive me if this isn't the place to ask, but what's it like? Being a hero, I mean. <laughs> is it every bit as magnificent as the legends make it out to be? Oh, you are just so off base, girl. Hmm. Well, I'll say that it's not what you think. Most people don't even recognize me as their savior. Really? I find that surprising. Especially given the current state of affairs in the world today. You'd think they'd be more grateful. Why did you ask? If you haven't already guessed, I want to be like you one day. <laughs> to have such limitless power at the forefront of my tongue. Yes. There'd be no end to the good deeds I could achieve. Limitless power. Tyrants would concede their sovereignty. Dragons would fall at my feet. And the people I care about would never know danger. Hmm. Well... Why not commit evil deeds instead? Nobility is trivial and uninspiring. Didn't expect someone of your reputation to be so maleficent. <laughs> I know I won't be. You really have no idea what's going on here, do you? You have more potential for evil. Pursuit of power isn't a virtuous plight. Surely it's better than being passive in a world that preys on weakness. To stand up to evil, we must be stronger than it. Who's standing you up to all it? People should know that. Should I now? <laughs> Well, you seem eager to take my place. Oh, it's nothing like that. I was just thinking about what's left for me when this is all over. Once we found our parents and returned to Solitude... Our parents? I'd like to stay in Skyrim for a while. <laughs> As a student of yours, if you'd have me. We could be the dynamic duo of dragon slaying. That will never happen. Let's just focus on getting off the island. Fair enough. But maybe you could answer something else for me first. Hmm? Yes, what is it then? What do you want to know? I'm trying to become more proficient with my Thuum, but one thing keeps holding me back. How do we learn additional shouts? I've had the same two variations since birth. Hmm. Well... I absorb the knowledge of the voice through the souls of dragons. Directly from their souls? Yes. Hmm. That explains why I haven't made any notable progress. I'm sure it does. And you say you've known your shouts from birth? Of course. Isn't that what being dragonborn means? Why, are, are you saying you didn't come into the world with this ability? <laughs> no, I had to steal the ability from the original Dragonborn, and then I had to slay a dragon. Really? 
<laughs> Maybe that means my powers are superior. No, no, it doesn't mean that at all. All right, then. And how many dragons have you killed? No fair. It's not my fault I wasn't in Skyrim for the zenith of the dragon crisis. I have yet to see one of those creatures up close. Or at all, for that matter. All I hear are excuses. All right, Mr. Right Time, Right Place. If we ever make it out of here, I'll challenge you to a dragon killing contest. Loser has to surrender half the gold in their coffers. <laughs> All right. I think that you probably won't be making it out of here alive. And I'll sit this one out. <laughs> Can't say I blame you. Being <laughs> outperformed by your baby sister isn't something I'd let you live down. You are not my of sister. Of course, this is all for naught if we don't find a way home first. Indeed it is. Don't you still want to find your parents? That's what I meant by home. <laughs> Do you still want to? After we fix the boat, I'm going straight to Skyrim. Oh, I guess at some point we'll have to part ways then. Oh, yes we will. I'll be sure to tell them about you. Do that, won't you? And what will you tell them? That you've brought a lot of good into this world. <laughs> if tales of your adventures are even the least bit credible. Oh, well, some and of them may perhaps more importantly, that they should be proud. Hmm. All right then. So, to do these good deeds, I think we need to get the uh, inhabitants of the island to assist. No, you're not one of them. People that are more familiar. You, Bryn. What's your friend Tassius's problem, anyway? Is there some kind of disagreement? You could say that. What happened? I don't need him preaching about what I should say or believe. He doesn't know the first thing about me, and yet that doesn't prevent him from hurling judgment. Hurling is As he... if he's so holy, he wouldn't do the same in my position. And how did the quarrel begin? I told him I'd love nothing more than to see the people in my entire village burn alive. <laughs> I see no reason to apologize, and I'm certainly not going to pretend I like them. Well, that can certainly be arranged. <laughs> well, I'll tell him his advice is unwanted. Thank you. The calling it advice is generous. Is something on your mind? Why do you care? Well, I don't really. I was just looking to pass the time. Huh. At least you're honest. <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to sound melodramatic, but people who come to know me usually end up regretting it. One way or another. Well... I'm sure that's an exaggeration. Look, you're surrounded by intelligent, attractive, and interesting people. Oh, really? Attractive? No one's forcing you to waste your time with me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> less interesting, sure, but less attractive? I think not. You really think I'm... Oh, oh I'm I not get talking it. about you. That was a jab at my personality, wasn't it? <laughs> Walk right into that one. Is something bothering you? No. Well, yes, but... Well, make up your mind. Which is it? I haven't been part of a group since my village days. And there's a reason I put those behind me. Why did you leave your village? It's a long story. And you already admitted you don't care. <laughs> At least you're listening. All right, then. Probably for the best. Of course.
Can we do something else now? Please. All right then. Who else is there to speak with? Oh look, we have a, a crafting station here. Nice. Now it's you again. And Mr. Rose and Thorn. Oh look, do these work? Excuse me, out of my way. Akatosh? RK. Hmm, I'm thinking, well, Julianos, more magica, but I have so much now. What about RK? Hmm, I can't steal more of his powers. I can only receive his blessing. All right, well, I suppose that'll have to do. Oh, and perhaps I should speak with you as well. What do you need? Is something on your mind? Forgive the irrelevancy of this, but I must know. Have you taken notice of the lawlessness that dwells here? There is no order to be found in these villages. No doctrine or code they collectively pledge themselves to. It is irreverent, barbaric, shameful. I fear the same will become of Tamriel, should good men stand idle while evil creeps about unchallenged. And who are you to come here to this island and judge how these people live? They seem to be managing well enough. Do they? Daedra kill by the hundreds. Formidable monstrosities run rampant from the soil to the sky. And a curse of restraint keeps residents from desertion. That well, is not the way the Divines desired their people to live. When you put it that way, and you think that they brought this upon themselves. If men do not punish foul deeds through law and justice, then the Divines will leave them to the mercy of the Daedra. It is no wonder these people suffer. They have forsaken their gods and bolstered generations of sin. Must every sin be punished? Surely some can be forgiven. Crimes forgiven are crimes recurred. I'll admit the punishment for every ill deed need not be the same. A murderer should not serve the same sentence as a thief, but that does not excuse the thief from penalty. Hmm. Well, I certainly hope you'll reconsider adopting a less radical ideology. It is only dangerous to those who oppose justice. For those who live in the light of the divines, it carries no peril. Do you plan on restoring justice to this island? In what ways I can. I am but one knight in a sea of criminality. Some sins I must overlook while I am under pledge, such as those prevalent within our company. But I stand ready to purify those of which purify. I have no binding arrangement. <laughs> For the honor of the thorn, and the memory of my father. All right, was he as fanatical as you are? Yes, or so I expect. I have only faint memories of him. But I know he believed in the principles of the thorn, and all that our order could be. So long as I cling firmly to his beliefs, and stray not from the path of righteousness, I stand a chance to make him proud. That is enough for me. Well, I'm not sure if it's enough for me, but good luck with your purification. <laughs> now, who else? I tell you, this place is like a maze. Is someone in here? Oh, it's you again. I mean, the gall of her trying to pretend to be my sister. <laughs> she has no idea the forces that are at work here. 
What's in here? Why are there books? Well, this is from the... well. You must be this Dovahkiin everyone's so infatuated with. The Nords must have exaggerated your ferocity. You don't look like much to me. And let me teach you something about intimidation and power. The greeting is well, well, well. Two wells indicate that you're a powerless fool. And you don't look like much to me, either. Maybe not. But an assassin can use underestimation to her advantage. Oh, really? A legend, on the other hand, is nothing without a credible reputation. <laughs> and just who are you? The name's Jade. But you needn't remember it. Don't worry, I, I won't. won't be around for long. <laughs> and what are you doing on this ship? Your ship? I didn't say it was mine. Does Hayden know you call it that? I don't care. In either case, you see how I'm clad. No, Take a I, guess. I really can't. What, what have you got on? Not sure what that is. So you're, a, you're homeless and you dress in stolen rags? Well, don't you have the insight of a moth priest? <laughs> and you expect me to believe that you're on a Dark Brotherhood contract? One that's run into somewhat of an abrupt delay. Oh, I can Needless imagine. Needless to say, being marooned on a desolate wasteland wasn't in the contract I signed. <laughs> Seeing as we're stuck in the same boat, I'm thinking we can help each other. Oh, can we? I'll temporarily extend my services to you and your crew. And in return, you'll lend me a cabin for the return journey. <laughs> All right. Well, who is your contract for? That's not for those outside the Brotherhood to know. Well, it's a good thing I'm not a part of the Brotherhood. And that reminds me, I need to put them on my list of extermination. <laughs> well, I thought the Brotherhood was extinct in all but Skyrim. Which means we're doing our jobs. <laughs> I'll let you in on a little secret. Really? The Brotherhood is weaker, to be sure, but not dead. Oh, but soon they will Merely be. Merely scattered and independent of each other. Mine operates in complete secrecy to all but the highest bidders. If there's any killing to be done, it will be by my hand. I don't need your little group running around, interrupting my mechanizations. So, is the contract for me? We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? <laughs> I suppose we will. But be warned. Any attempt on my life will end in your death with just a snap of my finger. <laughs> well, why not just stow away on the journey home too? And spend every hour until then hiding from your crew like an Argonian in a city of Nords? No, you don't have to hide. Even assassins need breathing room from time to time. Well, whatever. I should go. You do that. Oh, so this, this is what you're wearing? This is... This does not seem to be... Something you need? Dark Brotherhood attire. You look like some sort of priestess. Interesting. And what do we have here? Any books that I could read? Apparently I've read them all. Well, good luck. Dovahkiin? <laughs> Oh, and here's the writer. Hello. Yes? Is something on your mind? Okay, so I think I've established okay. the characters I'm, for my I'm novel. I'm sorry I asked. I don't care about your novel. All right, but I'm not but going to nothing. pick that up either. And you, 
the drunk that got us marooned here. And your service. Huh. Is something on your mind? Ah, uh, yeah, a splitting headache. Feels like the world is running laps around me. Were you drinking last night? No. Oh, really? It must be a first, then. Well, yes. Ah, but that's hardly lying. relevant. Something else is to blame. I get these nightmares every once in a while. Visions of trauma now long past. Uh, the headaches usually follow. Hmm, could it be like the dreams that I've been getting? Not quite. How do you know? From you what don't I even understand, the dreams yours, that I'm having. they're ambiguous and directly related to this island. The ones I get are linked to a certain chapter of my life. I suffer through them long before we ventured out together. What are they about? I'd rather not say. It's nothing personal, it's just that, um, ever since I left a sweet roll alone with my three best friends and returned to an empty plate, I've had trust issues. Oh, that sounds so traumatic. And that's potentially the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Your sympathy has not gone unnoticed. Good. Worst part is I never figured out who did it. Was it an organized heist or had one of them been operating alone? I'm afraid I'll never know. And here, I thought, you were one of the sane ones. Really? Whatever gave you that impression? I don't know. Well, if there's anything I can do to ease the headaches, don't let me know. Actually, I could use some help. I said I'm don't with let headaches, me know. So I've more or less accepted those as a certainty. It's with something else. And what is it now? I may or may not have promised the locos I'd kill an outcast for them. Truth is, I don't remember all too well. That night was wild. We've only been here for a matter of hours. And you were partying with the locals? For the record, they call it a festivity here. If you ever find yourself in one, take my advice. The rum is not to be underestimated. Just after it graced my lips, I was chanting the age of aggression in my undergarments on the roof of a bamboo hut. Well, it sounds like an eventful evening. Oh, it was. The parts I remember, at least. And what did the outcast do to deserve death? Something about murder, I think. Or was it seashell laundering? Hmm. Honestly, I haven't the faintest memory. It doesn't matter. If I make a promise, I see it through. That's just how it is. Well, very well. I trust you have your reasons. I hadn't expected you to understand. Oh, I'm not, not understanding. Do. I'm just weary of talking On a ship you. where I'm surrounded by preaching knights and pretentious vigilance, it's nice to not feel judged for once. Oh, you, you might very well judged. spare me from insanity one day. I'll mark it down on your map. No rush, of course. I'm sure our target isn't going anywhere. Can't believe it, all these quests. No, oh, oh, this is my room. All right, an arcane enchanter. I don't think there's an alchemy station on here, though. Oh, a cooking area. Nice. Whose room is this? Alright, this must be where the hole is somewhere. 
where the water is coming through. Oh, and this is your room. There's nothing creepy about that. There could be things lurking around down there. All right, have I... What about that Tassius fellow? He didn't seem to come back with us. That's too bad. All right, I think I've spoken with everyone. Now oh, it's time to get out of here and see about helping these villagers. So, Roland... No, I want... Bryn. Hmm, can I... Oh, I have to choose someone now. Hayden? I didn't want Hayden. I, sh I wanted Tassius. It's probably too late now. Oh, yeah. All right, here we are. Bren, Tassius, and Iriel. I'd like to stick around you and your crew for a little while longer, if you don't mind. It sounds like you'll be working to better the lives of many of my friends and neighbors. I'd like to assist with that if I can. Well... I'm only doing this to get home. Your intentions are of minimal concern. I'm merely interested in aiding the people of my homeland. All right, then. As long as you don't get in the way. I'll do my best to accommodate that request. What time is it? I think it's time. We, we should probably just call it a night and then try this in the morning. Who stops? I didn't get a chance to talk with you. Is something on your mind? The others tell me you've been experiencing some unnerving dreams as of late. I think I might know why. Oh, really? And that is? What many seem to forget is that this island didn't always fall under the authority of Miriam's Dagon. Before his takeover, this land was governed by the Daedric Lady Vermina. I theorize that some of the lady's power still remains, and she's using it to contact you. Hmm. And why would she want to talk with me? I can only speculate, but I highly recommend speaking with her. I understand these visions that are That wasn't kind of the random, question. I might be able to change that. How? Legends speak of a potion that forces the user into a torpor. A state of mental inactivity needed for dreams like these to work. It will be like sending out an invitation directly to Vermina. And do you have this potion? Not at the moment, but I have a few ideas on how I may obtain it. I'll speak with you again once I have one. Well, thank you. Do you know of anyone else who has escaped this island? No, but I know of one who may have been close. Whether or not he remembers, well, that much is less certain. And who is he? Someone who is obsessed with the idea of fleeing. Right up to the point that Dagon's minions caught him, at least. His mind has been disturbed ever since. They didn't kill him? I guess they didn't deem it cruel enough. He remains secluded in his cavern, untouched by Dagon's forces. 
Who was he? If you know, if any. Just another helpless soul trapped on an island where pity and charity are but dubious fables. What was his method of escape? It was unique, to say the least. But if the danger felt the need to impair his sanity, he may have been onto something. He planned to form a defense of the island that would counter Dagon's reaping, but he knew ordinary equipment wouldn't do the trick. He needed materials that would withstand the full wrath of the danger. What materials? A wide assortment, gathered from some of the island's deadliest creatures. How he intended to use them is anyone's guess, but perhaps there is something in his cavern that could answer that question. It might be worth a look. All right, then. Is anything else on your mind? Can't say there is. All right, then. And you? Yes, brother? This might sound weird, but I had a dream about this island before we crashed. You're sure it was this island? That would be a strange coincidence. I'm certain. I see. What happened in this vision? Daedra were descending the mountain and slaughtering people. Mm, kind of vague, don't you think? No, I Did don't. Did you see anything that might set this event in motion? Nothing that I can remember. Well, I don't know if you believe in things like foresight or prophecy, but I'd rather not stick around long enough to find out. We should get those materials or her new vessel and get off this rock as quickly as we can. Do you think someone on the island could interpret this? Possibly. If you find the time to ask around, go for it. But our priority should remain discovering a method of escape. Well, on that, we agree. If you have any more of these dreams, let me know. They're a little too coincidental to be dismissed. Some of the others are calling me Dova. Why? Would you rather they call you Dova Keen all the time? Yes. That's a lot of syllables to call out when they're in trouble, don't you think? No. I don't like it. <laughs> well, good luck getting them to stop. I think the name is stuck. The family amulet you wear. You mentioned it was one of a kind. How so? Aside from having our birth names etched in? Well, the pendant is hollow. Beneath the frame lies a pinch of enchanted ashes. Enchanted ashes? If my research serves me, they were originally crafted by the Argonians as a way to discern friend from foe during the Oblivion Crisis. Hmm, interesting. When they're cast into the same fire from which they were born, the flame will glow blue. In this letter, Father instructed us to use these ashes should we... arrive too late. But that's not going to happen. We're not going to miss them. All right. Is there anything else on your mind? Yeah, I... wait. Can you hear that? No. I hear rain. Anyone? By the eight. Everyone, get low! What is it? Oh, like that. that thing's real? A I dragon. Best to sit this one out, if possible. Where is it? Oh, way off in the distance. I don't know if it's coming back this way. All right, no need to cower. It's not going to hurt you. I think I'm going to go and get some rest and we can begin again in the morning. 